What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ofab here, and today I'm going to show you guys the badges I use and the best badges at NBA 2K23 for a point guard. So make sure you guys stick to the end, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and down below in the description, I'm leaving you guys my Discord. We're a family in there. 235 members is in the Discord right now, so you guys can find games, find teammates, just chill in there, just talk about 2K. And I'm going to try building that Discord up to 1,000 members before NBA 2K24, so it just makes your guys, make you guys life easier, so like, you know, a little tongue twister, but, um, yeah, so today I'm going to show you guys the badges that I rock, a lot of you guys want to know what badges I use, so let's get right into it, and let, let me show you the badges right here, so, right away guys, you know, I'm 31 in the new season, I was 31 like the first two days, but yeah, you know, I slacked a little bit, but this is the build I've been using on PlayStation, this is PlayStation, I'm always transparent with you guys. I never lie to you guys. If you guys don't know, Xbox, I have 97 three ball build. On PlayStation, I'm using this build, the 99 three ball build. So, you know, always being transparent with you guys. 80 dunk for that silver limbless takeoff, 99 three, 92 ball handle, 95 Excel, no defense. So, and for my takeover, I run limbless range and pull up precision. And of course, you need the accelerator. But the most important part, why you guys came here, we're looking at the badges. So, right away, guys. My recommendation for badges right here, finishing. This is how you know I'm lazy because if you look to the right, there's no finishing cord. Look, a giant slayer. I never touched the paint on this build, so I'm just I just shoot threes and middies. But I need to stop being lazy. Uh, if I was to grind this build, I'll take off limbless takeoff. Remember, you need limbless takeoff for your quick drops off one dunk package. So when you're playing comp or sweaty games, please like put on limbless takeoff, like keep it on. But if you feel like grinding, you see like. I was lazy. I got a couple dunks, and you see, you see the meter filling up a little bit. But guys, to fully max out this build, make sure you guys put your all your badges into post riser, uh, core your post riser, and then finish your, and then put all your badges on limitless. But when I'm playing comp right now, this is my bad setup right here. I haven't core post riser, but I need to. So I need to hurry up and core post riser so I can put on limitless. So I get, so I get both. So post riser is free. You guys just got a court, all right? So shooting, this one I'm rocking with shooting. I got volume shooter on bronze. I have mini magician on bronze. I have guard up on gold. If you guys do the fat stop a lot, that move I was telling you guys with the left stick diagonal down the other hand, if you guys don't know what the fat stop is, it's the left stick movement that gets you the crabs. Uh, it helps a lot. Guard up helps that move a lot. So if I hit 39, I plan on putting an extra batch point of shooting and getting Hall of Fame guard up. And then we got Hall of Fame Green Machine, you got Hall of Fame Agent 3s, it's really easy to core Hall of Fame Agent 3s, uh, Hall of Fame Limbless is almost cored, and then we crab a lot, so we cored Hall of Fame Blinders really easy, and then of course you want Hall of Fame Deadeye, as you guys can see, Hall of Fame Deadeye works, you see the progress I'm getting, Hall of Fame Deadeye works definitely in competition, so it's really OP, it's overpowered, so these are shooting badges I run, playmaking, I've ran hyperdrive all year, as you guys can see my bronze hyperdrive's up a little bit. I've been running all year, but right now I'm just focusing on on core and clan breaker. I don't really use clan breaker like that. It doesn't really pop up like that. But we're just we're just labbing it right now. We're doing pretty good with it. We core killer combos because I just feel like I can move faster with the dribble moves with it. And plus we get stuns on the defender with killer combos. Handles for days. I thought silver handles for days was gonna be an issue, but we have 99 stamina on this build, so I haven't had an issue. I've been dropping 30 on everybody with silver handles for days. Uh, bronze bailout is necessary guys you want bronze bailout on all your builds every single build on the court needs bronze bailout in my opinion uh, quick first step you know always put that highest highest as you can uh, unpluckable people say you need hall of fame nah gold is high enough if you put anything less than gold though you will get plucked every play so gold is the sweet spot so now defense as you guys can see I hold on to people's jersey so much on the cut that I could core off ball pass, but I can't because I double cored playmaking and it took away my defense. But this is the best batch to have, guys, if you're a point guard with no defense. You want to have off ball pest on because if you guys get cut on by the corner when you're guarding the corner in uh, prime, if your man cuts, he's going to get past you every single time. But off ball pass bronze helps you bump the, uh, the offensive player and gives you some bumps. So it helps your team on defense. So make sure you guys got off ball pest. And then the second most important badge is Box Out Beast. Obviously, we can't get it. So, But these are the best badges on the game. And this is what I run with, guys. So make sure you guys put these badges on. 
Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, guys. It's your boy, O'Fab, and I'm out.